Hi students, today we will discuss an interesting topic, distributivity of multiplication. Distributivity of multiplication over addition and subtraction we are discussing. We will take whole numbers, integers and rational numbers. Let's start with whole numbers. With the help of some examples we will do that. First example is 12 into 7 plus 12 into 13 plus 12 into 80. Here we know that the terms are separated with plus or minus sign. Here I used red plus sign. So you, you can easily understand that here three terms are there. First term is 12 into 7. Second term is 12 into 13. And third term is 12 into 80. From this you can see that 12 is common in all the three terms. That 12 we have to take outside, outside the bracket and the remaining in from the first term the remaining number is 7, second term remaining number is 13 and the third term remaining number is 80. In between addition sign comes. So we can write it as 12 into 7 plus 13 plus 80 that uh, the numbers the simplification in the bracket we have to do first that means 12 into 100 it will be 12 into 100 without working we can do that it is 1200 so here we did not do any working just took the common number outside and simplify the remaining numbers then multiply with the common number next example is 34,125 into 169 minus 69 into 34,125. Here the first term is 34,125 into 169. Second term minus 69 into 34,125. Here the common number is 34,125. That number we have to take outside the bracket. Remaining numbers that means from the first term the remaining number is 169. In the, um, the operation is negative subtraction and the from the second number the remaining number is 69. Simplify the bracket 169 minus 69 is 100. So we can write it as 34,125 into 100. Without working, we can write it as 3412500 because any number multiplied by 1 is the same number and here two more two zeros after 1. Uh, so, we have to put the two zeros after the multiplication. Next example is 3184 into 99 plus 3184. Here, First term is 3184 into 99 plus second term is 3184 only. 3184 is common but from the second term we cannot take any number outside. So we have to rewrite this equation as 3184 into 99 plus 3184 into 1. Any number multiplied by 1 is the same number. So we can rewrite the second term 3184 as 3184 into 1. Here 3184 is common. So that number we have to take outside. Remaining numbers are 99 plus 1. 99 plus 1 is 100. So we can write it as 3184 into 100. So the answer is 31840. Hope you would have understand the concept. Next we are taking integers. See the question is negative 34 into 622 plus 388 into negative 34. Here from the equation itself you can understand negative 34 is common. So that negative 34 you have to take outside. The remaining numbers are 622 and 388. In between addition comes. So we have to add that numbers. After adding we will get 1000. 1000 into minus 34. So any number multiplied by 1 is the same number. So minus 3, 4 and after that 3 more zeros we have to end up. Next question is minus 49 into 123 plus 49 into 23. See here 49 is common but 
in the first term negative comes but in the second term it is positive so i am taking positive 49 only outside so after taking 49 from the first term remaining negative 123 comes minus 123 plus 23 is minus 100 49 into minus 100 is minus 4900. Next example is 7 by 5 into minus 3 by 12 plus 7 by 5 into 5 by 12. Here I took rational numbers and from this question itself you can understand 7 by 5 is common. So seven by five into remaining numbers from the first term it is minus three by twelve and from the second term it is plus five by twelve. Here in the bracket denominator is same. So just we need to add the numerators. So seven by five same seven by five we have to write outside into. Same denominator we have to write and add the numerators. Minus three and five are the numerators, so uh, numerator will be minus three plus five. By the same denominator, twelve we have to write, and we know that minus three plus five is two, two. So it will be two by twelve, and in two by twelve, the numerator is two and denominator is twelve. That means two is common. In both numerator and denominator, so we can cancel with two. So the numerator will be one and the denominator will be six after cancellation. So it will be seven by five into one by six. And for multiplying two fractions, we have to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So it will be seven into one. By five into six, and we know that seven into one is seven, and five into six is thirty. So answer will be seven by thirty. Next example: nine by sixteen into four by twelve plus nine by sixteen into minus three by nine. Here nine by sixteen is common. So that nine by sixteen we have to take outside. Into from the first term, we can take four by twelve plus second term minus three by nine because nine by sixteen is common. So that we number we took outside. Simplify the bracket. Here the denominators are different, and from the bracket first fraction is four by twelve. There four is common. So we can cancel with four. That means numerator will be one, and we know that the denominator is twelve. Four threes are twelve, so denominator will be three. And in the bracket, second fraction is minus three by nine, and three is common in both numerator and denominator. So we can cancel with three. So numerator will be negative one, and the denominator will be three. So we can rewrite it as nine by sixteen into one by three plus minus one by three. See, look at the bracket. First term is one by three, and second term is minus one by three. Same rational numbers, but opposite sign. So the answer will be zero. That means nine by sixteen into zero. Any number multiplied by zero is zero. Next example: two by five into minus three by seven. Minus one by fourteen minus three by seven into three by five. Here three terms are there. First term is two by five into minus three by seven. Second term is minus one by fourteen. Third term is minus three by seven into three by five. Here I am ta uh, taking the middle term one by fourteen and rearrange it it like that. Type two by five into minus three by seven minus one by seven into one by two minus three by seven into three by five, because here seven is common. That's why I split one by fourteen as one by seven into one by two. Here, look at the first and the last term. 
ത്രീ ബൈ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു സെവൻ ഈസ് കോമൺ ഇൻ ബോത്ത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടേം മിഡിൽ ടേം ഐ കെപ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ടുക്ക് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടേം ഫ്രം ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടേം ത്രീ ബൈ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു സെവൻ ഈസ് കോമൺ സോ ഐ ടുക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ത്രീ ബൈ സെവൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഫൈവ് ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടേം റിമെയിനിങ് പാർട്ട് ഈസ് മൈനസ് ടു and from the last term remaining part is minus 3 and i kept the middle term in the same way minus 1 by 7 into 1 by 2 here simplify the bracket minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 so we can rewrite as 3 by 7 into 5 into minus 5 minus last term same way 1 by 7 into 1 by 2 here 3 uh, by 7 into 5 into minus 5 that 5 and 5 we can cancel so it will be minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 7 into 1 by 2 here 7 is common so 1 7 is 7 is in the denominator so we have to take 1 by 7 outside into from the first term minus 3 is the remaining part and the second term minus 1 by 2 Two. that we need to simplify here in the bracket first term is minus 3 and second term is minus 1 by 2 it is a rational number so we have to simplify that that means cross multiply 1 by 7 into minus 3 into 2 that means it is minus 6 minus 1 by 2 that's a method of simplification here minus sorry 1 by 7 into minus 6 minus 1 is minus 7 by 2 and in the numerator 7 is there denominator also 7 is there that we can cancel so remaining part is minus 1 by 2 hope you would have understand the concept thank you